Let's take another look at this building and, and, and why it's uh, ener more energy efficient than others. The goal is to use absolutely no electricity, gas, or firewood for heating or cooling. Certainly we could have a fireplace for cosmetic purposes in some shared area. But the idea here is that we've got all the power of the sun that we are going to use in the most efficient way possible with solar hot water heaters and also capturing the early morning sun. Um, but the other important thing is that we want to use the coolness of the earth. The, the earth is very cool down here. And so we've also got a root cellar in here. It's unclear to me how much of the ground this building would start to warm up and if it would make it unwise to try and put a root cellar here. It doesn't hurt in any case to have rooms like this that are isolated. It could be an entire isolated corridor that was uh, heat insulated by straw bale from the rest of the building. So you've got this very uh, huge uh, building long um, corridor of root cellar. That could be very useful because you're trying to use the power and the heat of the sun and also the coolness of the earth. If you were living in a tropical area, you might change how you did this a little bit and dig a little bit further in to cool down more. And if you were living in a very cold area, you might even dig it a little further in to keep it warmer. But in general, I think this is a pretty good balance. Um, certainly in here, we could use straw bale in the envelope if we wish to. And also, these could be glassed in. Now, all these portals, the building could decide whether they wanted it to be open. They definitely have to have a railing for safety. Or if they want to glass it in. Uh, by glassing it in, they're increasing the general heat in that area and decreasing the wind. Uh, and that's kind of the choice of what they want to do. They can't tell their neighbor what to do, but, you know, whatever. It could be as a building you decide to start out with zoning it so that this particular one here, for example, is all glassed in. Might be a nice spot. Uh, but it's better to let the, I think, the owners um, make their own decisions. You'll notice two odd spots down in here. These are actually supposed to be dotted lines, these floors. And that's because the uh, uh, owner of the building could design it so that there was walkways across to the building, and then in some cases there were sunken areas that the light would come down into. This would be a very nice protected but still outdoor area, kind of a little den area. You can even imagine a, a restaurant might have a little down, down there courtyard on a hot day. It's just another option and that's really up to the users or the, the, the building um, owners. They can change that. Uh, spots down in here might be owned by the building for utility purposes. It's unclear to me. I still have a lot of utilities to run in. Each uh, building cross section, each, each, each hunk of it, has its own solar panels. So it's entirely electricity independent. It could provide the elect extra electricity off to the main grid. Um, and then it, that could be used as, as whatever, you know, surplus stuff. The same is true for the water system. Any extra water that comes in to the, to the public overflow system, this is just to avoid overflow, it all goes into private. After private, then people could donate their water to the city. In fact, they'd kind of have to. So there, there would have to be kind of very good overflow systems out of the system. The, the hope is if there was really an overflow condition, you're catching it uh, in, the, in the public supply of water uh, so that you don't overflow. Uh, that'd be right in here. So this is a nice big shaft. You've got your water coming in here, run across into the, into the light and water shaft, goes down into here. This is uh, not really meant as a storage thing. This is to buffer against large storms. And then it's piped off into each, uh, each one of these. So these should actually never really overflow if this system is working properly.